Understanding Hair Transplants, a guide to English vocabulary. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting and medically advanced topic, hair transplants. This procedure is not only a medical term but also a part of our daily vocabulary, especially in contexts concerning beauty and health. Let's unravel what it means, how it's done, and some associated vocabulary. Stay tuned to enrich your English language skills. A hair transplant is a medical procedure where a doctor moves hair from one part of the body to a bald or thinning area of the scalp. This process is often used to treat male pattern baldness. It's important to note that the hair move during this procedure is resistant to the balding process, making it a permanent solution for hair loss. The two primary techniques used in hair transplantation are follicular unit transplantation FUT, and follicular unit extraction FU. FUT involves removing a strip of skin with hair follicles from the back of the scalp, dividing it into grafts, and implanting these grafts onto the balding area. FU involves directly extracting individual hair follicles from the scalp and implanting them into balding areas. Each method has its advantages and limitations, which are important to consider when discussing hair transplants. After a hair transplant, patients may experience swelling and soreness. It's crucial to follow the doctor's aftercare instructions for optimal healing and growth. The transplanted hair will fall out initially, but new growth should be visible within a few months. Full results can take up to a year. Let's go over some key terms and phrases related to hair transplants. Balding, the process of losing hair, especially on the head. Scalp, the skin on the top of the head where hair grows. Grafts, small pieces of skin with hair follicles used in hair transplants. Donor site, the area of the scalp where hair is taken from for the transplant. Recipient site, the area of the scalp where the hair is transplanted to. I hope this video has been informative and has helped you understand the concept of hair transplants. Remember, learning English involves familiarizing yourself with a variety of topics. And medical vocabulary is a crucial part of this journey. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.